I got a heat signature. There's something out there that's more than just the light. Dude, what the hell? Nash and his crew are deep in the remote Mogollon Rim on the hunt for a fearsome beast known as the Mogollon Monster. Will it rip off their heads with its big hands and big feet? Or will they come out alive? All this and more in this episode of Unexplained. Unexplained. The Mogollon Monster, aka the Arizona Bigfoot, is an ape-like creature over seven feet tall, covered in long black, white, and red hair, with large eyes and talon-like fingers with two-inch claws. It is said that the creature is nocturnal and very violent, who likes to decapitate deer and other wildlife prior to eating them. The poor little babies. Mm. Reports claim that it has a strong and pungent smell described as that of a skunk with bad B.O. That's like the worst smell. A okay. skunk, like not just a skunk, but with bad B.O. on top of it. <laughs> like that's a horrible smell. So we're here in Arizona looking for the Mogollon Monster. What can you tell us about that? So the Mogollon Monster is uh, basically Arizona's version of Bigfoot. It has to live in an environment 200 mile wide. This is so intense. Lots of stories from colonial times on up to today of Bigfoot type creatures. There hasn't really been a huge population of grizzly bears in Arizona in a hundred years. So we're here investigating the Mogollon Monster. What right. do you know about that? The Mogollon Monster is kind of a, that's the local variation of Bigfoot and where that came from. So it's a type of Bigfoot. Is, uh, yeah. Very, why don't they just call it Bigfoot? Uh, there was a group of Boy Scouts that was uh, terrorized by a tall, hair-covered, foul-smelling creature. Uh, it sounds like a bear, right? And roared and screamed and scared them all to death and ate their food, and, but, but it left and didn't hurt anybody. And so the next, as soon as it was light the next morning, they packed up and got out of there. And when they told their story to the locals, uh, you know, they needed to come up with a name for it. So that explains why it has its own name, because like the term oh, didn't reach. Oh, got yeah. you. Okay. okay. You know, it was a fearsome thing and it scared them all. They, uh, they called it the Mogollon Monster. I kind of believe in Bigfoot. I don't know. I, I need proof for things, you know? Yeah. And there's been so many sightings. Of I think that there yeah. could be. I, no, I mean. I'd like to see more. I want to see like if they go and find it. All right, guys. Well, welcome to the middle of the forest on the Muggy on Rim. So excited for this. So yeah, so we have pretty a pretty good investigation ahead of us. Um, a hell of a lot of ground to cover. So I think the best plan of attack would probably be to split up. Like the heat camera. Yeah. Could you imagine? <gasps> I don't know, dude. I'm getting movement. I'm hearing st stick snapping. Okay. Some stick start. I know that's crazy. <gasps> What is that? Do you see that? So here are some steps to follow so that you don't run into a salty Mogollon monster. Step one, avert your gaze. Do not make direct eye contact. Direct eye contact will cause it to react unpredictably. Very sensitive about its hair. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Step two, behave like a forest animal and appear less threatening. So scratch yourself on the back. Groom yourself. Do forest animals <laughs> scratch themselves on the back? Do they? I don't know. <laughs> I it's a, well, I was gonna say a monkey. You see a squirrel, it's like itching its back. <laughs> That'd be so weird. <laughs> Step three, do not attempt to outrun the creature. They may be able to run at up to 40 miles per hour. And if you're like any human being, you probably don't stand a chance. I'd be like, sacrifice me, I'm done. This is it for me. I'm sorry, guys. Exactly. Hey, to those trees. Yeah. Do you see anything? I don't see anything. I don't know. I don't know if I see anything. I'm trying to. What is it? It's moving towards us. I got a heat signature. There's something out there that's more than just the light. Oh, look, I see a little thing down there. You I see that? That's like the end of the lawn, right? Oh, wait, that is wait, a that's fire. A fire. Oh, that is fire. Yeah. Well, what's the. You look at it on that's fire. Okay, I that's look fire. At it on my screen. Are we back at the campfire? <laughs> What a, why are they facing back the at fire? the camp? So they were literally them. hearing each other because he was oh, hearing sticks yes. breaking. Or okay. How did they go in a circle? I don't We just made know. a complete f***ing circle and we're looking at them. How the hell did we do that? For some, there's no difference between a man with a beard and a hairy Bigfoot on a heat-sensitive camera. 
Bigfoot smell like skunk, so to avoid a case of mistaken identity, please apply deodorant before you split up with your team. We don't want that stinkiness to distract. The kind of real proof of the Mangia monster that would actually make people sit up and take notice doesn't quite exist at this point. Is it a bear? Is it a mountain gorilla? Who knows?